Welcome to Nightline for Monday, April 19th, 2021. I'm Dana Marina Brito with your school news and announcements for Jose Martin Mass 6-12 Academy. The yearbook is available for pre-order for $40. Pre-purchase your copy at yearbookforever.com. Language Arts Homework Help is available every Thursday from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The link can be found on the school website under the Students tab. Our Values Matter Miami core value for the month of April is honesty. The adjective honest is perfect for describing someone who tells the truth. If you're always honest, it means that you're truthful and sincere no matter what. Think about ways that you can be more honest in your daily life. Check out the latest issue of our sister show, Nightline SciTech, which is now out on YouTube. In this episode, they explore the possibility of life on Venus and the wood frog. This past Saturday was National Haiku Poetry Day. Here's Brianna to tell you more about this style of poetry. April 17th is National Haiku Day. The haiku first emerged in Japanese literature during the 17th century as a terse reaction to elaborate poetic traditions. The journalist, writer, and poet Masaoka Shiki took full advantage when he officially made an independent poem in the 1890s called Haiku and brought haiku into the 20th century. In order for a haiku to be a haiku, you need to have 17 syllables because it is composed of five syllables in the first line, seven syllables in the second line, and five syllables again in the third line. People are usually very strict about these rules. A very famous haiku writer is known as Matsuo Basho, which he made over a thousand haiku poems throughout his lifetime traveling all around Japan. His writing, the, Ro the Narrow Road to the Deep North, is the most famous haiku collection in Japan. Here's an example of a haiku poem. Ocean voyage, as waves break over the bow, the sea welcomes me. Another example is... The frozen twig, the little bird dreams of spring. Oh, to see this for the poems. Hope you enjoyed the haikus. And can make your own. Thank you, Brianna and Sophia. Please support Silver Lining, a group of eight high school students working to resolve mental health issues as part of the Aspen Challenge. Follow them at Silver Lining JMMA on Instagram, and most importantly, use their website to access mental health resources and complete the self-care challenges to improve your wellness. In the end, it's all about you, because you can be your own Silver Lining. If you participate, your name will be put into a drawing for monthly prizes. Before we go, let's check out the conditions outside. Here's your nightline weather. I'm Alex Cantone with your nightline weather. It's 80 degrees, feels like 86 with fair conditions and 84% humidity as we begin the day. High temperatures are expected in the high 80s today. The high is projected to be 90 with partly cloudy skies. Expect some isolated thunderstorms and a low of 74 tonight. Winds are expected from the south-southwest with gusts reaching 18 miles per hour. Now for your three-day look ahead. Tuesday is expected to be partly cloudy with a high of 88 and a low of 74. Clouds will become thunderstorms on Wednesday with a high of 85 and an overnight low of 71. Rain will likely continue on Thursday and with a high of 80 and a low of 72. That's all for your nightline weather. That's it for us today. We'll see you next time.